Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarfin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to execute any Android ADB commands wirelessly that is without the need for the USB cable. So if in your case, the USB cable is not working or the USB port on your PC is unable to identify the phone, then in those cases, this method will come in handy. But there is a catch. So the major issue with this method is that for the first time usage, and that is for the only for the first time you will have to connect your phone to the PC via USB cable from the subsequent time the USB cable is not required but just for the first time setup you will have to use the USB cable so you may either take the help of your friends or family and ask for the laptop or ask for the USB cable and get this job done once you have established the connection via USB cable from the subsequent time there is no need for any USB cable or USB port we will do the entire job wirelessly using just a Wi-Fi command. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, you have to download Android SDK platform tools to so download it from the link given in my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. I have done the extraction in eDrive and these are the files as you could see. So next up, you have to enable USB debugging on your phone. So let's do that as well. So go to settings menu on your phone, then go to about phone and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back and go to system and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. Tap on OK. So with this debugging is now enabled and now we will have to verify the debugging connection. And for verifying the debugging connection, we have to take the help of the USB cable. This is the only step where we require the USB cable. So connect your phone to the PC via a USB cable and then you have to go to this platform tools folder, type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will launch the command prompt window inside platform tools as you could see. So now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. This serial ID is unique to your phone itself. So if you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC, disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging, use the official cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out this USB tweaks and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. Once you are getting this ID, your next course of action is to get hold of the IP address for your phone. So for that you have to go to the settings menu on your phone. From settings menu you have to go to the Wi-Fi section, then go to your Wi-Fi and go to advanced and note down the current Wi-Fi. So as you could see in my case, it's 192.168.1.33. So please note down the Wi-Fi in your case as well. This is the Wi-Fi address in my case. So note it down somewhere. So with this, we have got the Wi-Fi address as well. Again, one more thing, please make sure that your PC and your phone are on the same IP address. In other words, they should be on the same Wi-Fi network. So please verify if that is not the case, then please do so right away. They should be on the same IP address and the same Wi-Fi network. Once that is done, let's now move ahead with the next step. So next up, you will first off have to type in this command. Type in the exact same command. The 5555 is the port number and you don't have to change the port number. So simply copy this entire command and once you have copied it, simply paste it in the CMD window and hit enter and it will now restart in the TCP mode port having the port 5555. Once that is done, your next course of action is to type in the ADB connect IP colon 5555 command, but please replace the IP with the actual IP address that you have got in step three for your phone. So in my case, the IP was 192.168.1.33. So I will re replace the IP keyword with that. So please make sure to replace the IP keyword with your original IP address. This is the C command in my case, the port number should always remain 5555. So just replace the IP keyword with the IP that you have got and then copy the entire command and paste the command in the CMD window and hit enter. And with this, as you could see, our phone has not been connected to this IP address. And with this, our phone has established a wireless ADB, ADB connection. So we could now verify the same as well. So as of now, you could see my phone is connected via USB cable and let and as you could see from here, I could access my phone as well. Just a minute. So as of now, I could easily access my phone 
from my PC because it's connected by a USB cable. So right now what I will do is simply unplug my phone from the PC and let me show you that as well. So it's the file transfer menu. So as soon as I unplug my phone, as you could see from here, the menu is grayed out and my phone is no longer there on my PC as well. So with this, we are, have, are now running our phone in the wireless ADB debugging mode. So let me verify the same as well. For that, you just have to type in ADB devices and this time around, you will get a serial ID in the form of IP address. So as you could see, now the ADB devices is showing as the serial ID followed by the port number earlier when we had the connection it was in the form of a unique device ID but now we are getting an IP address so now you could execute the desired ADB commands of your choice and get the job done so let's try a few commands for instance let's try and install an app via ADB command wirelessly so as you could see my phone is not connected to any USB cable so let's now try and install an app via ADB command wirelessly so for that, let's install the Facebook Lite app. So currently, as you could see, my phone, let me uninstall the Facebook Lite app first. So go to its app info page and uninstall the app. So with this, I no longer have the Facebook Lite app. And now I will reinstall the app, APK, using the CMD window in the wireless ADB debugging mode. So let's now carry out that task as well. So I have already the APK, this is the APK and Facebook Lite APK. If you want to install any APK, simply place the APK inside the platform tools folder. And once that is done, for the ease of convenience, let's rename the file to something shorter. Let me rename it to FL and the complete name becomes FL.APK. And just to show you once again, as of now, the connection is now in the wireless debugging mode. So now let me install an APK file using this. So let's type in ADB install the name of the file which is fl.apk and hit enter and it will now install the facebook app and the app have been installed so as you could see we now have the facebook Lite app and i could now launch the app and carry out the desired task and that is not it you could even execute the adb shell commands wirelessly so for instance let me show you if i type in adb shell first of let me once again verify that i am in a wireless mode so as you could see i am in a wireless mode now, if I type in ADB shell, as you could see, my phone is being shown here. So I could even use the ADB shell command. So let's use the ADB shell command and try and remove a system app. So as of now, Google Chrome is a system app in my phone. So I'll show you how to uninstall this app from my phone. So let's carry out that task. I have made a separate guide on that as well. So let me show you an example of ADB shell command wherein I will be removing a system app. So I just have to use these two commands and then as you could see currently this is the app driver and I have the Chrome app in the home page and the app will now be removed. So first off let me copy this command and paste it in the CMD window. Then I also have to do so for the system. First one was for the user and now it's for the system. And with this I have uninstalled the Chrome app as you could see in a wireless mode just to show you once again i am currently in a wireless mode and i am using the adb shell command and i have removed the app of my choice so you could easily execute any adb and adb shell command without any issues so this will be in a wireless state until and unless you change your wi-fi or ip address so even if you close the cmd window but remain on the same wi-fi address you will still be in a wireless mode. So let me show you if I open a new CMD window and my phone is currently not connected. It's in a wireless mode. And now if I type in ADB devices, my phone will still be in a wireless mode where and this is the IP address and this is the port number. And apart from that, there is one more important or rather interesting aspect. If you now connect your phone to the PC via USB cable, let me show you. If I now connect my phone and enable USB debugging as well. So in my case, debugging is enabled. So now we have the USB mode as well, as well as the wireless mode as well. So practically we should now get two serial ID. So let me check out. So as you could see, we are now getting two IDs. The first one is the unique serial ID, 
which we have got from the USB cable, whereas the second one is the Wi-Fi IP address which we have got via the wireless IP address method. So from now onwards, every time you connect your phone via USB cable, you will get two IDs. To stop this from happening, you could easily stop the Wi-Fi server. For that, you could either change the IP address or move on to a new location, which is practically impossible, or simply use the ADB kill server command. And upon using this command, it will stop the wireless Wi-Fi command. So now let's refresh it and type in ADB devices. It will take a few seconds. And from now onwards, we will only get this here ID, which is the wired command, the wired connection. So from now onwards, you will only get the wired connection. If you, if you want to use both the connection, then you're free to do so as well. But that will not be of much help. Rather, it will only complicate the matter. By default, until you change the IP address, it will always run in the wireless mode. So you will have to use the ADB kill server, server method. And once you use this command, it will stop the wireless method and you will then be back with the wired method. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. It's obvious that you cannot use this method on for executing any passport command. It's only limited till ADB command. You could execute any and every type of ADB command and ADB shell command without any issues. But still, if you have any query, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.